Hi, I'm back with um, a video on Mars and astrology. Sorry, I had like four different thoughts going through my head at that time, at that second. And I'm a little tired and I know I've been saying I'm going to do this Mars video, so I might as well just do a quickie about it because I will obsess and try to find out everything about Mars. But I'd rather just give... Um, my overall, um, my overall, and I don't want to really call it understanding, but let's just talk about Mars in your natal chart. Well, what is Mars? Mars is the planet of war. But that being said, also Mars rules Aries, right? Without getting too deep, everybody has Mars in their natal chart. So when we talk about Mars being the planet of war, it, Mars is also the ruler of Scorpio. Um, Pluto is the ancient ruler of Scorpio. Um, so when we talk about Mars, Mars is an individual's drive. It's our passion. It's how we fight. It's how, it's how hard we're willing to go. It's what really pushes us. It's energy. It's chi. Um, Mars, when it comes to Mars in the natal chart... For example, I have Mars in Leo, right? And I notice when it comes to my natal chart, like what am I willing to fight for? So I have Mars in my fifth house. So Mars being in the fifth house, fifth house relates to children and a couple of other things. So in this instance, we're talking about it relating to children. So I have Mars there. Um, my oldest son also has Mars in his fifth house, right? I think it's in his fifth house. But nevertheless, my whole point about Mars uh, what am I willing to fight for, right? I'm willing to fight for children, right? And anybody who knows me knows the issues I have with my mom and my son. And oddly enough, my mom is a Leo. So she also falls in my fifth house, which is interesting because then you have Mars there, my Mars and Leo, me fighting against my mother for my child who also has Mars and Leo. Um, hope I'm not getting too deep, but I'm trying to keep the surface. So... For me, and then Mars is also my chart ruler. So although I have Mars in Leo, my chart ruler is Aries. Meaning, in my natal chart, my in my first house, I have Aries. So I'm an Aries sun sign and I'm an Aries ascendant. Just because your sun sign is one thing, so say your sun sign is Leo, it doesn't mean that your rising sign is going to be the same. So with that being said, I, I have um, Mars as the ruler of my chart. <sighs> Mars is very, my Mars, I'm extremely intense, um, very passionate, but very impulsive, and um, I can't really say that the Leo really calms that much, <laughs> um, just really irritable, ready to fight, I don't really hold my tongue, I don't really know how to, um, Versus somebody who might have Mars and Pisces, let's say, right? Mars and Pisces, they're not going to really so much be upfront with you about how they're going to fight. Mars and Pisces is going to be way more manipulative about how they go about things. Um, very underhanded, I would say. Somebody with Mars and Taurus, and this is from my personal experience. Um, that's what I'm going by. Someone with Mars and Taurus would be way more slow to their anger. They may be a little more reserved about how they go about it, or it might take them a while to actually get to that point um, of addressing the issue at hand. Um, so those are just a couple of different placements um, and how Mars behaves in each of those um, signs. Um, Mars also rules our sexuality. Um, for a male, a male is very overt with their Mars. So they're very, um, they're very like big about their Mars, right? Because Mars is masculine energy. Um, and their Venus is very subtle. When it comes to a female, their Venus is more overt. And their Mars is usually uh, more subtle. Not for me, though. Um, so I'm trying to think about what else. 
Mars can be destructive. Um, I have a homegirl that always says, because she does astrology, um, well, we talk about astrology together, and she always says Mars and Gemini is like a crazy one to have. Um, my little one has Mars and Gemini. I, can't, I don't really have too much to say about that because initially I would think that a Mars and Gemini would have more of a communicate. They would go about theirs um, the way they fight more on a communication level. Um, but again, I just wanted to give a little bit about Mars because I know I've been saying, oh, I'm going to do a Mars video. But um, as I said, a Mars for the most part is how a person fights, what they're willing to fight for, their drive, their passion, how determined they are. Um, it can be utilized for positivity or negativity. It's just the way that you decide to channel the energy. And if you do not know your, um, your Mars sign, it is in your natal chart and you can always get your natal chart from me. Now, I always tell people you can run your natal chart on um, Cafe Astrology. They'll give you a basic reading underneath. Um, however, you can also get your natal chart through myself. I'm actually running a promotion right now for $25, which is your a, a full tower reading, which you can ask pretty much, pretty much whatever questions you want. I don't have a, a, a maximum. Um of questions and then also you can get your top three of your natal chart um, meaning um, we run your chart and see what you're rising your moon and you already know your sun sign but just going in on your top three um, so and that's 25 bucks and it's on my paradox astrology page I apologize I'm very tired right now um, and so if you have any questions please do let me know you can inbox me and um, that's about it. Thank you for watching my video. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.